Hello everyone, I am Rahul and in this tutorial I am going to explain you how to calculate the CGS. So this capacitance. Okay. So for that I have made a setup. So for this I will be using a MOS. I sized it as per my need and then I have biased it. Okay. So this is VDD and here at the input I have given uh, some 0.65 volt. Okay. And, uh, I have kept a 50 ohm resistance at the input. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll be uh, doing the SP analysis and we'll be calculating the Y parameter. And with the help of that, I'll find out this CGS. So, how I'll do this, I'll explain you. So, suppose this is my MOS. Okay, this is connected to VDD. And uh, this is that resistance. Okay. So if you see that uh, Y11 is equal to VL part plus imaginary part. Okay. So now if I am saying real part is, this is 50 ohm, so real part is set to 50, okay, and at resonance, this imaginary part should be 0, so this imaginary part should be 0, but if uh, there is something, if it is non-zero, so that will give me uh, the, whether L or C present in this respect, so uh, suppose C is present. So Xc is equal to 1 by omega C. Okay, so from here if I will see C the value of capacitance will be equal to 1 by omega Xc. That is nothing but Yc on omega. So what is this Yc? This Yc is that non-zero value. Okay, that imaginary part. And how will we calculate this? This we will get using the SP analysis that if we do Y11 we will get this and uh, we already know omega that is 2 pi f f frequency we know because we are designing this circuit at some particular frequency so now if you see that YC is known from SP analysis and this term is also known so we will get the C value. Okay, so I will show you on the tool. So after this, uh, so this thing is already, so this thing I have already explained you. So after this, I go to the ADL window, and from here, I'll do and select my analysis that is SP. Okay, so I need to select the port. I'll do that. After that, uh, it's not get selected yet. Yeah, so once these two rings will appear, that means it got selected. Okay, now it is selected, port 0. And the range, I'm sweeping it from 1 to 100 gigahertz because I'm working at a high frequency. Okay, let's keep the other thing simple and just add this. So it has come here. Now, simulation. Ten zero error zero warning. Okay, after that I'll go to the results, direct plot, main from, and what I'll do I'll do the I see the y parameter here, so y one one. I click on this, so it will give me the y parameter with respect to frequency range, so that non-zero imaginary part. So suppose I'll be looking here at this point. Uh, 
suppose I am looking at 39 gigahertz. So at 39 gigs, it's around 12 milli. Okay. So uh, to see this, uh, I have I can press V. So this will come. I double click this marker, and I can insert the 39 gigs here. Yes, okay, it will give me the exact value 11.81. Okay, let's uh, consider it 12. Okay, so now the C would be 12 into 10 to the power minus 3, and this is 2 pi 39 into 10 to the power 9 gigs. So it will come around 49. To parent. So this will be the CGS value here. 49 to parent. So that's how we uh, calculate the CGS. Okay. So in this cadence series, I have added various tutorials uh, based on DC analysis, SP analysis, AC analysis, transient noise analysis. And so many other techniques as well. So you can watch out those videos. So that's it in this tutorial. Thanks for watching.